welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work a successful fan page. So let's just get started into the video. So we're gonna firstly go into TikTok and of course uh, account. And firstly, you're going to do a username. So like mostly people would be like Addison is Queen underscore un like numbers and stuff and like of course it would work because like it's a really weird username so i do not recommend using those type of usernames i recommend doing something like vibe ads something like that or like vibe ad that's what i'm gonna do stuff like that so i'm gonna do vibe ad and then click name and add a name so like add um your name or your idol's name so for me i'm just gonna put it like not my real name because i don't feel comfortable so you can also put a fake name but it doesn't really matter and then for your bio i like to use the sans thing and like put not impersonating impersonating and then like we'll put Addy is Bay Addy is Bay we can put hashtag Addy is and then we can put stay positive positive that's really good. Okay. And then for my profile pictures, what I like to do is go to Pinterest. And like, I like to do like, Addison Indie Kid. But like photos. So you can do them for your profile. But not a lot of people have done it for Addy. They've done like videos, but not photos. So we're gonna try to look for one. Addison Ray. See, as you can see, like not a lot of people do. Oh, look, here's one. Okay, I kind of like this one. Okay, I'll do this one. And like, what you can do is just search up like your type of color, like cafe theme, or like if you have a cafe theme color, you can do. Addison, oops, Addison Cafe theme PFP, and like a lot of these would come up, like these and stuff, or like whoever your idol is, or like you can do ultralight, and like a bunch of the aesthetic ones would come up. So that's what you can do. But I already chose one, and then what I like to do is I like to go to CapCut and click new project and then I like to add the photo and then I like to take off the ending and then click and then I just export it so I can go to Vaunt and like click load new video recents add this and then add your like username so like for me it would be vibe add like vibe add and you can like copy it and put vibe and then paste it and then add it wherever you want and then i like to recommend putting it in the middle and then i like to add some overlay and then instead of saving it just screenshot and like crop it if you want and then just click done and then you can leave and then you can add your pfp and there you go so now you have your account all done and set so now you just search up your idols and follow them of course and like her recent post and then get a video it can be newer and old videos but I'd like to use old videos.
for mine. So I'm gonna scroll, so I'll be right back. And then a lot of people would like to do like the aesthetic coloring. I do not recommend doing that for your first video because then I'll just ruin your following. So for your first video, I just, for your first video, I recommend going to ultralight and then just cropping it, edit, and then just do this. And then just save it. And then that's it, that's all you do. And then go to Vaunt. And then add text, and then let me get a font. And like what you would do is put a question, so I'll And then just go to your TikTok. Click the plus, click upload, and then get your video. Don't even make sense. Don't even make sense. Put the rolly on my wrist. And <laughs> Who can watch this video is on everyone. Post, post now. And then just let it post. And like for your next video. You can add the coloring now for your next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Bye!